sorry guys, I'm here. I'm here, I'm back! I'm back, and today's episode, we are embarking on an adventure. Ooh, actually, I gotta bring it down. Why? Because we're drawing a restful rhino. A restful rhino. It's restful, and it's a rhino. Two words, we take them and we smush them together to make something awesome, and that is a restful rhino. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, we're going to be creating a restful rhinoceros or rhino. Here we go. We're going to begin this side with a curving line down. And then we're gonna draw a second curving line. From that point, we're gonna bring another curving line down just like that. And then we'll connect it with a curve at the bottom. So it's kind of like a curving triangle. Okay, just below that, we're gonna draw a little mouth with a weighty line. And the second one. All right, we're gonna draw two curving lines for some eyes. And then we'll thicken them up so they stand out in our art. Bold and beautiful. Okay, above the eyes, we're going to create some ears. We'll draw a nice big curvy line up and bring it down so it looks kind of like a leaf shape and we're going to do it one on the second on the other side as well and then we'll draw a line down one side for the fold of the ear we'll connect the two with a curving line in between and then bring the line down from one side to the other on either side I will curve in the corner of the mouth here, just like that. Look how happy he is. All right, we're gonna draw one, two circles for some feet. I know, it looks super weird right now. And then from those, we're gonna draw two lines up, and then two curves above. In each of those, we're gonna draw a circle. Okay, from this top ear, we're gonna draw a nice big curving line around and connect at the bottom. And then line between the feet. Then line from the feet to the head. We'll add a little tail, a little curving line. And we can add some little tail fur on the tip. All right, we'll add some lines around to add some details. We're just gonna go along the edge of the perimeter here and add some lines to create a little extra detail. You can go around the eyes as well. And then just below it, we're gonna add our hatching lines for some shading. So chuk, 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 get your hatching line sound effect going. Chuk, chuk, to create value. And once you're done, you are ready to color in your restful rhino.
And once you're done, your restful rhino is done.